Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central. We're coming to you with another Lightboard lesson video. And today we're going to talk about a problem that some people have uh, when you deal with sensitive data. Like if, let's say you, let's say you have a business and uh, you run credit card numbers or you have like social security numbers or something that would be considered like sensitive data. Um, you know, maybe you, maybe you're a bank and you deal with processing or that, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, there are certain audits, there are certain like PCI requirements uh, that you have to go through in order to make sure that you're handling that data correctly and, and it's sometimes that can be a pain, sometimes it can get really expensive and, uh, and so sometimes you don't want to have to mess with all that. And so, um, so there's a solution that some, uh, that some guys came up with and we wanted to share that with you today in this Lightboard lesson. And so uh, imagine that out there on the internet uh, there's a client that that sends a request, um, and maybe in, maybe that request is a a post, and it has like you know I'll put credit card number information in that. Maybe it's got your name, you know that kind of thing. Your name is uh, John, and your credit card number is you know whatever it is one two three four, and so. Uh, so anyway, so that's got that sensitive data in it and you don't want to have to mess with that. But nonetheless, it's coming, it's coming here. And over here, you've got, your, uh, you've got your web server that is going to ultimately uh, handle that, that post, that, that, pro that request. And so here's your web server. But like we just said, you've got your web server uh, and you don't, want to, you don't want to have to mess with all the PCI compliance and all the audit and all that stuff on the web server. And so... What to do? You know, how do you how do you get all that stuff off your web server? Well, the solution that has been developed here is really cool, and then of course it involves the F5 Big IP. And so what you can do is in in between here, you can say uh, Big IP, and in this case it's the uh, LTM, the Local Traffic Manager. So on the LTM, the the way that the solution works is um, I'm going to draw a box here that's kind of the internals of a of the LTM. This has two different virtual servers. So the first one, I'll put, uh, I'll put HTTPS virtual server. And what that's going to do is that's going to look at, a, at an HTTP post and it's gonna check and see if there's any kind of credit card or sensitive data in that post. And it's going to extract that data out of it. And it's gonna do that via an iRule. And this, I'll call it iRule extractor extractor and so you have the first virtual server right here that has an iRule attached to that virtual server and the iRule effectively what it's going to do is it's going to say hey I'm looking for any kind of sensitive data and in this case maybe a credit card number and uh, so what it's going to do is it's going to extract that and it's going to take the credit card number itself uh, and it's going to pull it out of that post data and it's going to save it in a temporary location and it's going to take everything else, everything before the credit card number and everything after the credit card number and it's going to save that in a, set, in a separate location. And so then what this one's going to do is there's another virtual server also on this LTM and, uh, and we'll call it the, uh, the tokenization, tokenization. Um, Partly because it's going to tokenize this, it's going to effectively encrypt uh, what's what ultimately is the uh, credit card number, and we also call it tokenization because that's a really cool word. It's a long word, it's a lot of syllables. It's kind of cool to say. All right, so this also has an I rule, and this I rule. So I'm going to put that. So this is the tokenization. Uh, I should put VS because that's a virtual server as well. So this is like a VIP to VIP solution here. So what happens is the, the post data comes in and ultimately now it's gonna hit this first virtual server. This one is going to extract the credit card number and then it's gonna send the credit card number, so I'll put CC number right here, down to this other virtual server. And this virtual server is then gonna make a connection out to like, I'll call it maybe a, like a secure data, um, secure data you know, service. This is, this is just a generic, that, that's not an actual, I just made that term up. But basically what this does is this is a service that you would connect to, send it sensitive data, it would chunk through that, it would encrypt that data, and then send back the encrypted data. And so that's exactly what happens here. So you connect to the secure data service, and then, uh, 
and then this thing sends back the encrypted credit card number. So what's going to end up happening here is the credit card number that used to be uh, over here, say one, two, three, four, is now going to be, you know, what, A, B, C, D, let's just say, whatever the encrypted form of that is. So this secure data service is going to pass it back to this virtual server. This virtual server is going to say, hey, that looks good, and pass it back up to this guy, at which point he's going to send it out via, remember, initially this whole client is saying, hey, I need to post this data to your web server. So now this is going to turn this post into post, you know, uh, CC number A, B, C, D. And then maybe, maybe it's still, maybe my name is not that sensitive. So name is still, you know, John on this thing. And then your web server is going to be able to, to chunk through that. But the important thing is when this credit card number, when this sensitive data hits your web server, it's not the actual sensitive data. It's the tokenized encrypted form of that. And so, uh, so then all this PCI compliance, I'll just put, you know, the, the PCI, DSS mess, the audits, that you have to mess with all that stuff and you don't have to mess with that anymore because the LTM and then this other secure service down here are taking care of that for you. So you've removed all that PCI and audit, um, you know, need away from your web server. And so, uh, man, life is good. So think of all the money that you can save. Think of all the, the headache that you don't have to mess with anymore uh, by doing all those audits and PCI compliance stuff on your web server. So, uh, so anyway, so this is, this is the overall solution that was developed. It's really effective. It's a really cool um, way to handle, you know, this sensitive data uh, problem that, that some companies deal with. We'll, uh, we'll post more of the details in, the, uh, in, in this video. Uh, we'll give you the actual eye rules for here and here, and then it, it's got some different uh, diagrams. It's essentially this right here, uh, the diagrams that kind of go through this as well. Uh, but anyway, we want to let you guys know about this. It's a really cool solution that was developed, and uh, hopefully it'll help your, your PCI compliance and your audit headaches that, uh, that plague some of, you, some of those companies out there. So thanks for watching this, uh, and we'll see you guys out there in the community.